people meet Michael and, and feel changed just because of his spirit, because of the stuff he's been through and the joy he gets out of even the most simple things. Award-winning TNT sportscaster Ernie Johnson and his wife Cheryl have six children, including Michael, adopted from a Romanian orphanage in 1991. Being caregivers for Michael brings great joy and satisfaction, but also great challenges. His behaviors certainly did mimic those of a severely autistic child. He didn't speak his first word till he was eight years old. Michael was also diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. How it was described to us at that time was that it was a progressive fatal disease that would affect all of our son's muscles. And at that point, his prognosis was that he might live to late teens. When you watch him go from not being able to walk and then to falling down and breaking stuff and breaking an arm and breaking a hip and now he's in a wheelchair and then you get to the point where he can't move his hand enough to drive his wheelchair. You know, it has its days where, where it's very tough. For me, I think the biggest change was that the world isn't as I knew it because there was nothing I could do. No matter how smart I was, no matter how hard I worked, I could not change the outcome for my son. You have such. Now 26. Michael needs mechanical assistance with breathing and suctioning. You want me to hold him up when you do the back? Yes. Yeah, that would help. Okay. But yeah, because his neck is hard to get. It's an hour or so to get Michael up. Michael cannot, you know, he has to be toiletted and fed and showered. You're looking good, kid. Looking good, kid. Looking good, kid. Improved medical care arising from research funded by MDA is helping young people with Duchenne live longer than before. MDA is there for the Johnsons, providing expert medical care and counsel to maximize Michael's health and well-being. I'm his dad, obviously. I'm his buddy. We just like to do stuff together. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> what? I love you so much. I love you so much. You are a whack job. A whack job. For a kid to go through what he's gone through and to still be with us and still be Engaging and charming is unbelievable. And, and to still be having an impact. He is perfectly and wonderfully made.